Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram. And welcome to Floss Tube. I don't know, I didn't check. Uh, today is Thursday, the 22nd of August, 2022. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh, this is this is Vader. <laughs> If you're new, I'm Liz. This is my um my new little troublemaker. <laughs> um Ross and I adopted him. He's a rescue kitten. I just wanted to show everyone before I have to kick him out of the room. Um because unfortunately <laughs> he is what is known as a stage five clinger. So he must be close to me all the time um, or it's the end of the world. Um, if you are new, welcome. Um, this is my corner of YouTube where I talk about all of my cross stitching and whatever else I want to talk about. This little corner here is Ross's corner. He's my husband and unpaid editor and that's where he talks about whatever the hell he wants to talk about. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. Um, welcome back to the Hot Mess Express that is these videos with this little troublemaker. Um, I'm going to kick him out um, and then we'll we'll jump into it. All right, come on troublemaker. Okay, I am back. You're probably going to hear him meow um, because normally when he hears me talk, this is the door to my room, <laughs> um, he will literally sit there, sing the song of his people and stick his paws under the door. So if you do hear him, I do apologize. <laughs> Um, what's been happening? Not much. We got him. He is a lot of work. <laughs> he is a tiny troublemaker. Um, he has the flu, unfortunately, so he's on antibiotics at the moment. We have a follow-up vet appointment on the 31st. Um, and hopefully he is a-okay. He is a rescue. Um, so he was rescued at four weeks old from, um, a factory he was dumped there with his siblings so we don't really know much about his first four weeks of life um but yes he is very affectionate um he likes to stick his tongue out all the time um so yeah i'll see if ross can insert a photo of him poking his little tongue out he's a little bit cute um, so yes, he has been having a ball. His uh, aunt Chloe sent him some uh, toys, which he absolutely loves. There's one with a bell that drives uh, me and Ross crazy because he absolutely loves it. And it is very loud, um, but it's super cute to see him play with it. Um, what else has been happening? Other than that, not much. Um, it's been pretty busy with work. There's been some staff changes so I'm really busy but it's really good because it makes my day go really quickly um yeah other than that not much is happening not much stitching has been happening I mean some stitching has been happening but not as much as um I would normally have that's because of Vader um and his crazy need to constantly be on me or next to me or touching me so I do manage to have a finish, which is the only finish I have this week. Um, and that is the Nordic Nutcracker by Tiny Modernist. I started this like two years ago. Um, this is what he looks like finished. So the original pattern has two houses on either side and a poinsettia, poinsettia in each corner. I didn't want to put them on. Um, I thought it was too crowded. Uh, and this is Mr. Pickle Cracker. So he is affectionately known as the Pickle Cracker, coined by um, me because Mel Rouvre said that he looks like he's on a pickle and I can't unsee that. So my Pickle Cracker is complete. He is stitched on an 18 count um, white Ada with some sparkle that I got from Sewed All Australia. So it's not like a proper opal. Um, it's a sprayed on sprayed on opal but he is done i think i'm going to turn him into a tiny pillow um and put him somewhere or maybe a flat fold because i dropped chocolate milk on him 
So mm, a pillow could work. Anyway, that's my only finish. Don't have any new starts. I got fabrics, my fabric in though for a new start, which I will be starting tonight. Can't wait. Um, so I'm just going to jump into my, my whips. Um, first up is Max. He is a photo by me, charted by me. He's my sister's cat. She wants this done for Christmas. Whether or not that actually happens, who knows? He's on track to be done by Christmas. Um, he's in the Q snap because I work on him on Mondays for just another Maxi Monday. Um, and this is what he looks like. Oh, it looks so good. Uh, I finished the rest of the background. I finished his ear, his eye, and part of his face. Um, so I had that in the Q snap and I was filling that in. Um, there is still some stitches in there that need to be done, but now I've moved over and I'm going to fill in the rest of him. I do have a lot of park threads from where I was working, but oh my gosh, he looks so good. Look at his little whiskers. Ah, little chunk. Um, I love him. He's so cute. So this is where Maxi is at. Uh, it's so cute. Oh, sorry. Don't look at the back of my back of my chart, my back back of my whip. It looks disgusting. There is a lot of traveling because there's a lot of confetti. So Maxi, moo, the chunk. All right. Uh, I also worked on another cat cat whip and I'm just going to take the top of the Q-snap off because I did work under what is in the Q-snap and this is Frederick the Literate by Dimensions. Ross will insert a photo because I forgot the cover photo in the bag which is up there. Um, so I, I finished the top shelf. So this is currently sitting at about 80% done. Um, so the top shelf is done with all of the back stitching in the books. There is a little backstitch down here and I need to finish a couple of rows of the actual shelf. Um, but I'm currently working in filling in Freddy. Um, and then I just need to finish the books on the bottom and it'll be done. Uh, this is stitched on a 14 count black that came in the kit. Um, sometimes 14 count Ada is just so therapeutic to work on because it's such big squares and you don't have to think. And I know... Um, I know everyone like stresses about black fabric because it's so hard to work on. Mm -mm. Not for me. That's not meant to be a brag or anything, but like 14 count black is like giant holes. So easy peasy. Sometimes I actually just do it because it's so big and it's just so chill to work on, which is really nice. Um, all right. The next thing I picked up was, uh, for one of the challenges, challenges, challenge prompts, one of the prompts, prompts for fandom stitching. Um, I can't remember what the prompt was, but I picked up the deadly aquarium by Lola Crow. Uh, I have not worked on this since it came out. I am woefully behind. Uh, I will catch up at some point. Um, but this is where I'm up to. So this is stitched on an 18 count mystery by mystic fabrics. I think I want to say that that's what it is. I don't think it's volcano because normally volcano stitching, I normally have, I normally leave a little piece of stapled paper on. I'm pretty sure this is a mystic fabrics fabric um, that I got from Mel Rouvray when she was de-stashing de her 18 count. Um, of course the camera is not doing justice to the color of this fabric. It is stunning. It is like a blue with greens through it. It's really not doing it justice. Anyway, what I worked on was this. So I put in the wings of the seagulls. They're not backstitched. Put in some of the white and then I worked down on the kelp. So like I said, this is almost finished and I am this much in it. I am so far behind. It's fine. I'll catch up. They're start alongs for a reason, not stitch alongs. So it's fine. 
the lining has just gone really weird <laughs> probably because of the blue um needle minders on this the otters and the submarine both are from ginger stitch au um all righty next up i pulled out dragon lace this was for a prompt for a dragon. I remember that because I couldn't decide between this and my dragon stitch along, which I pulled out this instead because I have not really worked on this. Um, this is, I don't know who the chart is from. It's from Etsy. I saw someone in the witchy stitcher group stitch this and I had to stitch it. So I am. Uh, this is, this is where I'm up to. It doesn't look like much. This is a piece of 18 count glitch by crafty leany this was a fabric of the month so i'm just gonna fold this and bring it in so this is where i'm up to i know it looks like it's fading into the background but this is heavily backstitched as you can see from the cover photo um so i put in some swirlies filled in some more of the gray brought this down just a little bit of fill in, but it's very detailed. And then there's like really heavy backstitch. Um, backstitch is meant to be done in two strands, but I think I'm going to do it in one because I am working on an 18 count. Um, and I think two would be too heavy. Um, yeah, that's where I'm up to. Uh, leaf needle minder is one of, part of the leaf pack from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, but this fabric, it looks like an angry, an angry sky love that okay um next up is i have the cover photo the poison apple by bella filipina um i pulled her out to work on her for mel's birthday um because she's a fancy lady um so that is what she looks like i am not taking her out of the q snap because i am so so close to finishing all of the one over one skin <laughs> This is what she looks like. So her tiny bit of one over one skin that I have in here left to do. And this one over one skin will be done. This is my first time doing one over one skin or fancy lady on even weave. It has been a learning curve, but holy cannoli does it look phenomenal. I backstitched part of the arm, all of the arm last night. I still need to backstitch her arm over here. And then I can move down to her ginormous skirt once I've filled in this and brought it down. So I filled in the butterfly, did the back stitching in the leaves last time I worked on this. I need to do the back stitching in the butterfly. The apple needs a stem. But yeah, this is so nice to work on. This is on an 18 count that I hand dyed myself. It is, it, the camera doesn't pick it up, but it's a very like, it's pinky peach color and it's like darker than what is showing up. But I love it. Um, both of my needle minders here are from Ginger Stitch AU. Yeah, she's in the cue snap because I literally have my um, my single strand <laughs> tucked behind here to finish her before I do my new start this evening. So that is her. That is all of my whips for the week. <laughs> uh, there wasn't a lot. Um, I really need to change it up. Fandom Stitching is doing a Sal and Sampler September. I'm waiting to get some more information on that because if it is, because you can only use one project, um, like one Sal and one Sampler, um, and you can't switch them out until they're finished. And a lot of these specialized, like monthly challenges, I give up on them. Like I was doing Dash Go, uh, I was doing Whip Go, fell off the bandwagon in January. Dash Go was for July, August. I did three days, fell off the bandwagon. <laughs> My weekly stitching is where it's at. Um, so I will focus on the weeklies. Um, and if the Sal and Sample of September with Fandom Stitching is just like 100 stitches a day, then I'm going to work on Scary Sampler and one of my stitch alongs. So we shall see how it goes. Um, if not, I'll just keep working on what I work on. I've been spinning my wheel, my tiny decisions wheel, um, as well as letting my friends pick their, pick my whip. So yeah, they're, they're my plans. That's my stitching. Um, I will be starting the 
plants and petrichor stitch along this evening as soon as I finish that one over one skin. Um, which brings me to my haul because I got the fabric for it today, which is why I'm stitching it today. I did also, you will have seen on my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, I did put in an order with Ginger Stitch AU. Uh, I ordered some stuff for a friend. I have put those away. I uh, don't know where I put them. Yes, I do. <laughs> next to me. Uh, I thought I lost them. Um, they will be going to a friend. I'm so excited for her to receive them. Um, but I did order two minders. Three minders. Technically two for myself. I got the Sakura Blossoms. The two pack. Because I forgot to order them for when my last order shipped. Um, and I got the Finish the Whip. Um, needle minder because I finished my pickle cracker <laughs> and I thought I'm going to do that. Um, I really wish I need to find someone who can make a custom acrylic needle minder with my like stitch by Liz on it so I can put it on my photos. I would love to do that. That would be so much fun. So I need to have a source of that. Um, all right, my fabric. I got three pieces of fabric. One, two were pre-order dies that I requested and what is my fabric of the month. My fabric of the month from August from Crafty, not from Crafty Lini, from Color Cascade is called Stormbringer. Uh, and I get it in a 32 count even weave. I should have written that on the label. Pretty sure this is an even weave. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's gray, not blue, and it's darker than what is showing up on my screen. Uh, look at how many that looks. So amazing. So amazing. So this, and they're like decent cuts. So I'm quite happy with these color cascade fabric of the month thingies. Um, and then I ordered one of their new uh, colors in the vintage collection. This is called Sweet Pea. Um, I also got this in a 32 count even weave. And this is mm, luscious. <laughs> It's so nice. I can just see whacking a mermaid on here or a fairy fancy some fancy lady will be going on here. Um so that is that is sweet pea. It is a little bit pinker than what is showing up on camera. Like the purple's really showing up on the camera, but it does have some pink through it as well. Uh and then the final piece of fabric I got from Color Cascade is uh 18 count forest which I specially ordered. It is one of their regular colors, but I ordered this for the plants and petrichor stitch along because this fabric is perfect for it. Look at how amazing this fabric is. I'm so happy with this fabric. I like, you know, when you're really concerned when you see for like colors on, um, like on a website, they're not always hundred percent accurate to what you're going to get. Hmm. This one though, it's pretty, pretty accurate it is mm, it's amazing um do i have a piece i don't have i don't even have a piece of white but it's stunning and i cannot wait to get started on this stitch along um i find that with a lot of dyes when they do when they dye like an 18 count that's like dark color fabric gets really soft this is goldilocks ada i love this this is so cool so I can't wait. I'm starting this as soon as I finish my one over one. If you can hear him meowing, it's because God forbid mum has been out of my view for like 20 minutes. Um, just give him, give him time and no, he's already scratching at my door. Mm. Get a cat, they said. It would be fun. Um, he's fun. He's uh, a joy and I love him very much, but mm, he's very cheeky. Um... Yeah, so that's all I got. It's very, it's another short one. That's because I haven't really been working on much. It's been, there's been a lot happening. So, <laughs> calm down. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go finish my one over one skin. Ross should be home from work soon because he had to stay back. Um, yeah, finish the one over one skin and then I'm going to start the plants and petrichor stitch along. I already have my threads ready to go. Um on that green fabric. I think it's going to look phenomenal. 
Uh, and yeah, that's all I've got. I've been rambling. So do all the YouTube things, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.